you and I have failed in many things. But that's history. Write this down, please. Very important. Your future is more powerful than your past. Do you know why? Because you can control your future. You cannot do a thing with your past. So your future is more powerful. Matter of fact, the only power that your past has is what you give it. And that is why Jesus came to forgive your past. But he also came to salvage your future. Jesus knows that he nor you can do anything about your past. But he also knows that he and you can do something about your future. So what he does is he forgives your past, cleanses it, wipes out the consciousness of it, takes away the guilt of your past, and then he gives you a clean sheet of life. And said, now let's create a new history that will be a pleasure to remember. You are not free until your past has no effect on your future. You are not free until you can talk about your past and smile. You are not free until you are not afraid if people find out about your past. As long as you are hiding it, afraid of it, guilt-ridden because of it, you are not free yet. Matter of fact, the reason why you ain't going to your future is because the baggage is too heavy. Jesus forgives your past. Lift your hand up right now and say, Lord, I receive your forgiveness of every dumb decision that I made in my life. And there are many I haven't made yet. They're the ones. That will make a difference. He's a forgiving God. 